some of you may remember I coded this a while ago and if you don't remember there's going to be a link to that video and you can go watch it it's going to be in the description it's going to be on the video itself you're going to be able to find it anyway so I forked this and today I'm going to show you how you can animate this uh, sort of helix kind of thing so um, here I have uh, this percentage value which I can make a custom property so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here so um, I'm going to make a custom property and here I'm going to register this custom property um, name as mentioned above uh, syntax and this is basically the type which is percentage initial this is going to be zero degrees by the way um if i make it two it's going to be uh visible so if it's zero it's not going to be visible but if i make it two it's going to be um visible as you can see right now so let's bring it back to zero and here we're going to create a set of keyframes so keyframes um to sorry and here we're going to put that percentage value now let's create this animation um i'm going to use an animation duration t infinite uh, and let's make it also alternate and let's make that t half a second let's say so um this should now work and as you can see it does but um we don't want this sort of alternating back and forth kind of thing so we're going to set uh, we're going to create another set of keyframes so um keyframes switch um and that's going to be uh, let's say 50 percent uh transform uh, scale x minus one so uh, here we're also going to have this switch animation and it's going to be uh twice um this um uh, okay and it's going to be a steps timing function and it's going to be infinite so um yeah So uh, now we have this sort of um, helix sort of um, kind of motion. And let's say this is going to be ease in, sorry, is in kind of motion. So um, this uh, this looks nice. So I'm going to leave it at this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description below. You can do it with a donation. And remember, any amount contributes towards helping me stay afloat and not dying in a trash can or something like that. Um, or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. There are going to be links in the description. Or you can support the implementation of the things used here because, um, as you can probably see, this only works in Blink browsers behind a flag. And it would be great if um, we could have this cross-browser because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.